in order to play the instrument a lot of people come to it and they they pluck like this but it's not it's not a plucked instrument it, it's a bowed instrument you go like this not you can do this but I mean the idea is to bow it and if you push if you push lightly and move quickly you can have an angle it doesn't have to be flat like this it can be at an angle like that the finger can be at an angle so then it can go across the whole row of octaves and anyway if you if you push lightly and move quickly you get this if you move slowly like and then I'll push heavier and heavier at the same speed Lighter, heavier, lighter, slow, slow speed. Now, now I can also like. This is like a small distance, like I can hit and then move a small distance and go. See, to. I can go to the edge and just touch the edge. I can touch the back edge. The front edge, the back edge. You know, I get a different sort of effect by hitting the back edge. And for the higher ones, they're mainly, the higher ones are very hard to activate. It's very, um, you, you know, they're mainly for the effect of going through the whole row and hitting them the last. So they add definition at the last. They're a little bit hard to activate. The last one in each row is a little too high to activate on its own reliably. But the rest are. So, so they're mainly like an effect. Now you can get moving, moving very, like once again, moving very slowly, very little and pushing hard, moving very little and pushing light. Moving a lot and pu pushing light, moving a lot and pushing hard. So there's a lot of room for expression in all this for for playing expressively by v 
varying your pressure and angle and you know backing the note up so like here's here's going through the scale with the octave rose Here's like the, the major chord. You, here's the here's the my here's the uh, 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 you can play the chords. And... Anyway, that's another video.